Yeah, good afternoon guys. Um, really good to, to talk to you again uh, and to share this post with you. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today uh, about some thoughts that I've had uh, recently about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's activity and ministry in my life. And it all stems actually from, uh, I, I went out uh, in this past few days for an early morning walk uh, with my dog and uh, it was a really really kind of um, windy and chilly morning but uh, it, really, it really made me start thinking about the Holy Spirit's activity in the world and, and particularly in my life. Uh, I want to start this post off with some scripture uh, so let me read to you some words of Jesus. He was speaking to Nicodemus uh, recorded for us in uh, John's Gospel, John chapter 3 uh, and verses 5 through to 8. Let me just read it for you. Uh, again, G Jesus is speaking to Nicodemus and he says, uh, Truly I tell you, unless someone is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you that you must be born again. The wind blows where it pleases, and you can hear its sound, but uh, you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. For the most, um, we can't see the, the actual, uh, we can't actually see the Holy Spirit, but we can be aware of his presence. Um, yeah, I think maybe sometimes people have had a physical um, vision of God, you know, but for the most, we can't actually see his physical presence, but we can, we can be aware of his presence and we can, we can see where he's moving. We can see where he's active. It's a bit like the wind. We can't see the wind, um, but we can feel its presence uh, and we can see its activity. I'm, I'm in my garden now and I'm looking at some of the shrubs in the garden and I can see the breeze moving the leaves. So I'm aware of the breeze's presence. I'm aware, I'm aware of the wind's presence. Now, in this past week, um, yeah, we've had, uh, those of you in Jeffreys Bay, you know, uh, we've had quite a, a chilly cold front pass through and there's been a nice bit of rain, which we've been very grateful for, uh, but there's been some really chilly, chilly winds. And then, as I say, I was out early one morning uh, and this, I think it was... Um, or is it Friday today? So I think it was Wednesday morning. I was out early walking the dock and hey, mate, it was cold, eh? Uh, and the wind was howling. And, and this was earlier, this was before the sun had actually even risen. But it was it was quite weird. It was a bit of a strange um, experience. And it's not the first time I've experienced it. But uh, you, you know, I was going down one road uh, and I was absolutely being battered by the wind. Yeah, the wind was really battering me. Uh, and then I'd go down another road and it was perfectly still, like the wind had completely disappeared. Uh, it was it was really quite strange. Now I've entitled this message uh, "Keeping in Step with the Holy Spirit." Um, we want to keep our lives in, in step with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and uh, um, what's, I want to ask the question: What's the point of of going down roads uh, where the Holy Spirit isn't working? What's the point of um, putting effort into going down roads? where the Holy Spirit isn't working, where the Holy Spirit isn't present. Um, and that thought actually, it can apply to uh, all different areas of our lives when you think about it. When, uh, when we think about our, our own personal life, when we think about our ministry and so on and so forth, it can really speak into uh, um, much of our lives. Uh, sometimes we think about areas of our lives where we think transformation needs to take place. Maybe uh, you've got a bit of a short temper or something like that and you think, yeah, I, I really need to work on this particular area of my life. But uh, if the Holy Spirit isn't working on that aspect of you at that time, what's the point in in really trying to put all your efforts into that. Wouldn't it be better to actually um, talk to the Spirit and look at where the Holy Spirit is actively working in your life and uh, throw all of yourself uh, into that and, and working with the Holy Spirit. And it's exactly the same with, with ministry. Um, where is the Holy Spirit active in your ministry? You know, we can have all the best intentions in the world. You know, I come up with a, a, an amazing idea of something that I want to do for God. I want to reach this person or reach this, this people group or whatever. You know, we can be thinking about all these best things that we want to do. But if the Holy Spirit isn't in those things, if he's not active in those things, if he's not leading us into those things, then all we're going to be left with is our own human e efforts. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, um, I don't know about your human efforts, but my human efforts without the Holy Spirit don't, don't really get me the results that I, I long for. I've made mistakes 
uh, along my journey when it when it comes to uh, going ahead of God. I've kind of uh, I've, I've moved into places and, and saw, saw a need and thought, okay, I'm going to try and hit that need. Um, in actual fact, the Holy Spirit wasn't working there. Uh, I've tried to work on different aspects of my life, thinking, yeah, it's going to yeah make me a better man of God. But in actual fact, the Holy Spirit was working on something completely different. You know, I can sit here today with these thoughts about the Holy Spirit and I can say that I really want to keep in step with the Holy Spirit. I really, really want to keep in step with the Holy Spirit. And, and think about what Jesus said when he talks about the Holy Spirit. I mean, it was a very short description and I'm, I'm sure he would have said a lot more about the Holy Spirit. Um, but, you know, anyway, he gave a little description of the wind, didn't he? And he didn't actually say uh, that you can't see or feel uh, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, in the same way that we can see and feel the presence of the wind, we can see and feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. But the, uh, we, we might not be able to physically see him, but we can see evidence of him. So my, my challenge to you today is, where is the Holy Spirit active? Where can you see his presence in your life, uh, in your ministry, in the things that God is calling you to do with your life, whether you're in full-time ministry or part-time ministry. Actually, I think we're all in full-time ministry. Um, yeah, God is at work in our lives, uh, whether we get paid for it or not. Um, but where is the Holy Spirit active in your life? Where is the Holy Spirit active in your life? Don't go down uh, roads where there's no, no presence of the Holy Spirit. Don't go down roads where he's not active. Uh, if you're exploring different ministries, um, look for where the Holy Spirit is moving and get on board, get fully on board with what he's doing and you will see amazing results. Um, if you're looking to uh, sort your life out, and who isn't? You know, we've all got things in our lives that we want, want to do better for God and for those around us. But look for where the Holy Spirit is active and work on those things. Throw yourself into those things. Then you'll see the results and it will encourage you to keep on moving forward. Anyway, guys, I hope these thoughts have uh, been helpful. Uh, I'm just sharing my ramblings, really, uh, different thoughts that come to my mind uh, as I'm spending time with the Lord. So, uh, again, I hope you've found this helpful, and I look, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bless you guys.